The Science of Being Well by Wallace D. Wattle. Chapter 7 continued. And continuing in a certain way, he may receive a third, fourth, and fifth wind. We do not know where the limit is or how far it may be possible to extend it. The conditions are that the runner must have absolute faith that the strength will come, that he must think steadily of strength and have perfect confidence that he has it and that he must continue to run on. If he admits a doubt into his mind, he falls, exhausted, and if he stops running to wait for the accession of strength, it will never come. His faith in strength, his faith that he can keep running, his unwavering purpose to keep on running, and his action in keeping on seem to connect him to the source of energy in such a way as to bring him a new supply. In a very similar manner, the sick person who has an unquestioning faith in health, whose purpose brings him into harmony with the source, and who performs the voluntary functions of life in a certain way, will receive vital energy sufficient for all his needs and for the healing of all his diseases. God, who seeks to live and express himself fully in man, delights to give man all that is needed for the most abundant life. Action and reaction are equal, and when you desire to live more, if you are in mental harmony with the Supreme, the forces which make for life begin to concentrate about you and upon you. The one life begins to move toward you, and your environment becomes surcharged with it. Then, if you appropriate it by faith, it is yours. Ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Your Father giveth not his spirit by measure. He delights to give good gifts to you. You need to subscribe to this channel. You need to subscribe to this channel. You need to subscribe to this channel. to the artistic biker now click the buttons <laughs>